Okay, uh, Beer Man asked the question a little bit ago. Hopefully, you're still around, Beer Man. Beer Man, so when you're checking your specific gravity, is it worth it to check it during mashing to see if you've hit your mark, or should you wait till pre-boil? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of things you can be doing, and, and it might be a little tool specific. Uh, first of all, you can be running an iodine test on your mash, and which is to make sure that you are getting conversion um, from starch to sugar. One way you can do that is to take a, a little plate. When I did this at home, I would have a little plate. I would put some of my wort in there. And you do want it to be the clearest portion of your wort. If you have grain bits in there, it can mess it up. So you do want to recirculate it well first. Um, but, but get some nice clear wort in there. And then you can drop. <clears throat> you can allow a drop of iodine to hit that. If it stays red, uh, you have conversion. If it turns purple, um, you still have starch in solution and you need more time, more enzymes, something um, in, in order for that mash to convert. Um, so uh, that is one thing you can do. You can run that iodine test to see if you've had conversion. Um, but yeah, you can also, depending on your equipment, this is where a refractometer or more fancy equipment comes into play um, or, you know, temp non-temperature sensitive hydrometers, finer, finer point hydrometer, stuff like that. Um, you could draw something off and, and measure that uh, and measure that first runnings, keeping in mind it'll be higher, um, and then uh, running your sparge water through. I, I'm in my mind, I'm thinking batch sparging on the homebrew side, um, but yeah, and then definitely take your your pre boil and everything like that. When you're taking your pre boil, I would really recommend though, especially the larger the system it is you're working on, let that wort start turning over. Right, because for me, I, I I go up to eighteen barrels typically in my kettle. If I if I cut my louder and I have eighteen barrels and I run up there and I pull a sample right away, um, the steam jacket on my kettle will only have me up to about two hundred degrees. So there is some turning in that kettle, but it's not fully homogeneous yet. We'll have some stratification of of, of sugar density there, um, and so you're going to want to wait till you're closer to boil. Or, you know, especially if you're in a big kettle, right? Um, you want that wort really turning over before you pull your sample because then you're going to be knowing that you're going to be getting a more representative sample. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're going to maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.